Graham was a very sick young lady. She had been very ill all day. As a matter of fact, it wasn't until 1 o'clock this morning that she felt for the first time that she really, well, she just stopped being sick. And had it happened five hours, four or five hours longer, Tracy would not have been able to skate tonight. And the doctor has said that this afternoon, so she was under tremendous pressure in the short program, where unfortunately she finished fourth after being first in the compulsory figures. But she is much better tonight, and of course we expect much greater things from the Canadian champion. But that kind of illness can sap a, a person's strength, and four minutes is a very grueling program to get through. Her first jump, a double axle, and she lands it beautifully on the way to, I believe, a strong program. This is more like the Tracy we know. Coached by Doug Lee at Aurelia. Practices with uh, Ryan Orson, so the two Canadian champions have been kind of coaching each other. Let's see if she'll do this triple jump. Oh. No. I don't know what was the uh, matter on the landing. Maybe we'll see it in slow motion later. Fourteen-year-old Tracy Wayman, who in 1980 went to the World Championships, finished in the top ten in free skating that year, and then went right back last year and finished in tenth place overall. And as a result of that, we can send two ladies to the World Championships in Copenhagen this year. Watch here now, two double axles she has planned in a row, and she didn't quite get around those. I think that her flu is affecting her. grown between three to four inches in the last year and that certainly has to affect the, her style and her technique and her jumps. Oh, another. She has a lot of courage though, you know, to hang in there despite the fact that she knows that that triple sow cow just doesn't want to work tonight and she's still trying. I think she's to be commended. It takes a lot of heart. Well, she's having difficulty even getting up after that fall, so that that uh, flu bout really took a lot out of her. And a double axle at the end. Four minutes is a long, long time. This young girl was sick all night last night. It's a credit to her that she even finished the program. Tracy Wayman. girl that did so much for her, skating in Canada when she became a representative at the World Championship and then won the Canadian Championship. Just turned the torch on for all Canada. There's Please the first double axle. It was very nicely done. And you know, you talk about bouncing back to have to do the two double axles at the end after several falls. And that fear that a skater has, what if I can't do it? 
I don't want to humiliate myself. What do I do? But you know, then she went into this triple jump right here from a back edge, and you could tell that she didn't quite get around, and she caught the toe, caught her edge, and down she went. And of course, the further she went into the program, the more tired she got as a result of her sickness, and uh, and down she went two or three times. But a uh, real gutsy skater, I'm sure we're going to see more of her in the future. It's unfortunate that she got sick at this point in time. Uh, as we take another look, Debbie, I think, at another one of her jumps. Well, Otto, what you say is what makes sport so exciting. So, you know, for the problems that she has, those marks for technical merit are pretty good. That's five sixes, two, three five fours, a five three, and a five five. Now, I think they gave her a lot of credit for having attempted those, for responding from them, and going back without taking the difficult jumps out of the rest of the program. It's true, John, but I think that the judges are being somewhat kind, perhaps. The other skaters are not getting the benefit of the mark when they attempt. Well, and for uh, artistic impression, we have two five sevens, three five fives, two five fours, with Thompson first, Natalie second at this point. We now have to put Tracy into the computer and see where she stands. 